Hey everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to install and activate a second hard drive or solid state drive like this one in your Windows 10 PC. It's really easy to do, so check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Everyday. If you're new here, my name is Ken and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to install and activate a hard drive or a solid state drive on your Windows 10 PC. Now this is a Western Digital Blue solid state drive. It's one terabyte. I picked it up on Amazon. If you're interested in a solid state drive, I'll put a link to this one and other ones below in the description. So we're going to need that. We're also going to need a SATA cable. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can pick them up on Amazon as well. You might have one in your PC already. So double check before you order one of those. Now we're going to be doing a couple things today. We'll show you how to install this in your PC as well. We'll show you how to activate it on your computer so you can use it right away and use it for your storage. Now let's get right into it and show you how to install this in your PC. So the first thing you need to do is turn off your power supply and unplug all the cables and cords from the back of your PC. From there, we're gonna go ahead and open up our computer case. For myself, it's on the left-hand side that we're gonna be removing a panel. So we're gonna turn it around to the back where we're gonna find some screws that loosen off the cover. For myself, I have two screws, one at the bottom and one at the top, and these ones I can actually undo with my finger. But if you don't have this type of screw, you probably will need a screwdriver. From there, you should just be able to slide off the side of your computer case. Many computers like mine, you can also take off the other side of the computer case in the same way to hide your cables. So let's give you a quick tour under the hood of my computer. There's my motherboard, CPU and RAM. You've got my video card here. You've got the power supply at the bottom. In the top right hand corner, you're going to see the back side of my DVD player. Here's the two and a half inch drive slots for the drive we're installing today. If you don't have those, you're gonna to have to use these three and a half inch drive slots here. Now, if you're using the three and a half inch drive slots and we're installing a two and a half inch drive, you're gonna to need to buy one of these mounting kits or brackets. You can pick them up over on Amazon. And these ones actually come with a SATA cable as well if you're in need of one of those. But I'll go ahead and put a link to this kit and maybe some other ones in the description below. So I already have two two and a half inch drives installed on this computer and we're going to be installing the third one right here in the slot underneath this first one. We're also going to need to install that SATA cable that I showed you from our motherboard. So you're going to have to look around your motherboard for where your SATA cables plug in. I'm using these blue cables to run to all my drives. Besides the SATA cable, we also need to hook up power to our drive. Now I've got a couple extra power connectors here within my PC, and these are daisy chained together. And if you can't find them, have a look around because you more than likely have some extra ones hidden in there. Sometimes they're hidden in the three and a half inch drive area. So let's go ahead and open up our Western Digital Blue solid state drive and install it in the computer. So one thing I should mention is that your power cable and your SATA cable are directional. So when you're plugging them in, make sure they're going the right way because the connectors do have these little knobs on the end and you wanna make sure that you're connecting it correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the power from my other drive just to give myself a little bit more space. Then go ahead and slide in the new drive. Make sure the connectors are facing out so the cables can plug into it easily. Find that open spot and slide it right in there. Now you can go ahead and reconnect the power supply that you unplugged from the first drive if you did that. And then we'll go ahead and plug the power supply into the second one. Again, make sure the connectors are facing the correct way. And once you've got that done, we can move on to the SATA cable. So again, start plugging in your SATA cable, making sure it's the correct direction. And then you can plug the SATA cable right into the motherboard into one of the empty slots. Now, if you wanna make your cables look a little neater, you can go ahead and zap strap them up or tuck them away in that back compartment I showed you, or even tuck them into the three and a half inch drive area. Once you've made sure all the cables are connected properly, go ahead and reinstall the cover back on the side of your computer. From there, you can go ahead and plug in all the USB connectors, keyboards, mice, peripherals, monitors, everything like that into the back and turn on the power supply. So I hope this video is giving you value so far. If it is, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but it's time to start up our PC and activate our solid state drive so we can begin using it. 
All right, so my computer loaded up perfectly. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and activate or initialize the solid state drive that we just installed in the computer. So in order to do that, we need to find the disk management area of our computer. There's a couple easy ways to get there. The first would be to just go to your search area here and start typing in disk. And we're looking for the option here that says create and format hard disk partition. So you could left click on that. The way I like to get there is to go to the start menu here or the windows logo in the bottom left, right click, not left click, right click. And there's gonna be an option here that says disk management. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna open up disk management for you. So once you've got that open up, it's gonna to want to initialize the disk. It recognizes there's a new solid state drive in my computer. So it's gonna to wanna to initialize that right away. And there's a couple different options here. I like to select GPT because that's the newer or more modern partition style. So we're just gonna select that, make sure GPT is selected, hit okay. And that's gonna to start to initialize the disk. Now I'm just gonna stretch this out here a little bit. So you can see what's going on. So you can see I've got my basic solid state drive here, the small one, it's got 120 gigabytes on it. That is where I have Windows located. We have this disk one, which is the one we just put in. It says unallocated. And then the second one here is another one terabyte hard drive, not solid state drive, the one you saw in there. And that one is allocated. And then we've got my fourth drive here, which is my CD-ROM. Now we need to allocate this disk right here. Right now it says unallocated and we need to go ahead and allocate that. So we're just gonna right click on it and there's gonna be an option now that says new simple volume. And if I go ahead and left click on that, it's gonna allow me to set that drive up. So let's go ahead and it opens up the wizard for us. We can just go ahead and hit next. And I'm not gonna play with this. Um, this is just how much space is on there. So right now it's the maximum amount. We're just gonna hit next. And we can assign a letter to this drive. So let's go ahead and um, look through here. My, my other hard drive is actually Z, but I'm gonna set this one to D. So I've got C drive as my other solid state drive, D drive as this drive, and Z as my hard drive. And let's go ahead. We want to just leave everything else as is. We'll hit next. And it's asking us for a file system. I like to leave that on NTFS. And the other thing we want to do is here where it says volume label, we can change that to whatever we like. So I'm going to do WD blue. I'm going to say SSD and maybe one TB. So you can name it whatever you like. So you know which drive it is. And then we're just going to go ahead and click next. And it's completing the new simple volume wizard. We can just hit finish and you can see that that switched over and created that drive for us. And now it's accessible for us to copy and install programs right on there. And it's that simple to set up this drive on your Windows 10 computer. All right, so I've got my solid state drive installed and working. And if you're interested in one of these, don't forget there's a link below in the description. Also, if you're interested, I've created a video on replacing a laptop hard drive with a solid state drive to show you what the difference in speed is. I've got that link below in the description as well. Connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links down there as well. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.